Welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we are talking about Norwegian classic Tark. We we'll are ranking their albums from my least favourite to my favourite. And this was a really hard one. Really hard one, a long time coming as well, because it's so hard to differentiate between a lot of these albums because they're so good. Like, very consistent, amazing Norwegian black metal, and they just have such a way about them. Like, the kind of rock and roll influenced with some of the riffs, amazing melodies throughout, and just great screaming. So it has all you need, with a splash of some fun in there as well. So yeah, Tark, amazing artist, and this is ridiculous. So my number one is pretty much set in stone, and my last... Oh, the last one's even hard, because there's a couple... Like, there's, there's about three that I'm kind of like, uh, is it last? I listen to it again and I'm like, no, that's actually really good. I've been doing that, so there's not really a terrible album in, the, in their catalogue. But there is my least favourite to my favourite, so let's stop dawdling and get on with the list. So, coming in last place is the self-titled Tark. With the amazing album cover. Love the album cover on this one, but sadly it is my least favourite, and that's not saying much because I really listened to it right before this video and it slays. It's fantastic. It's a bit slower than some of the others, um, which I still enjoy. I feel like it's refreshing that way. Um, just kind of like Kong Vinter is. Some people say that's the worst. For me, that has such like mood in it that I don't know. I kind of really enjoy that one. Tark for me though definitely is the least memorable um, least memorable song wise, least memorable hooks in the actual songs, but that's not saying much because all the songs still slap and it starts out with that creepy chant like, rah, dah, 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 and it's just like, whoa, <laughs> I know I'm in for a crazy ride when it starts out like that. Still good songs in here though, which I'm going to butcher. So the second track on this, Omenenske, yeah, I've definitely said that wrong. I'm going to try and not pronounce most of these because it's going to be bad, but yeah. That second track is just starts off so rock and rolly with that fun riff, and I'm just like, yeah, this is great. This is like black and roll that I know I know and love. Gets you right in the groove of things, but alas, it is last. Coming up next is Stridden, who's again, don't know if I said that right, let me know down below. Um, this is my second um last. I still really enjoy this one, and it was a toss-up between these which one was going to be my last place. Just for memorability-wise, I remember a lot of the songs in the other albums more, so this album is still great. The tone on this album I'm not a big fan of, I know it's a bit murky, but the songs themselves, pretty fantastic. Starting off with that intro guitar, just... I, just, I know I'm going to enjoy it just from that intro. Gamel Norig. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a butcher of house. Yeah, after that little intro, it then goes into the melody, and it's just so infectious. It's a very infectious melody on this song, and it just keeps it throughout. Love it to pieces. This album is good, but I just feel like Tark has stronger albums in the catalogue. But hey, you throw this on as your first Tark album, you'll still have a blast, because it's Tark. They don't do bad. So coming in next is Kong Vinter, the latest one they've done. Now, this one does get a lot of flack, but I don't see why I think that the melodies in here are actually fantastic. And I, yeah, ending on like a 10 minute instrumental it is a bit weird, but I love the instrumental on it. I do think it's a great song. And starting off with that song, which I forgot the name of it, what's it called? Sverdetsvei? Sverdetsvei? That's an amazing opener. That guitar riff or melody in the middle of the song <laughs> so it probably doesn't sound anything like that. Love it. Infectious as hell. Then Who Said I Have It has this very rock and roll atmosphere through the song as well, which just keeps you headbanging for more. So I like a lot of the songs on this album. Do you think it's underrated? Probably the most underrated in the catalogue. And it might even rise higher in the coming years, but from at the moment, it's coming here. Next up is the sophomore album, which I'm going to have to try and pronounce because it's ridiculous. Over Björgvin Grata Himmerik. Oh, I don't know what I was trying to sound Swedish then. This is um, the second album in the career. This is when they have numbers for the songs rather than actual titles, which is crazy because it's hard to 
differentiate because I'm be like, oh, I like the third song <laughs> rather than the actual name of the song. Uh, but that's probably better when I can't pronounce anything. But yeah, this album is raw. It's intense and it's evil, just like early Tark is. It has this atmosphere and it keeps to it. If you love the debut, which is considered the classic, you will love this album. You know, it is a massive step up from the three I just mentioned. From here on out, I don't just like them, I love them. And this is hard to put it this low, but for me, I just like key moments and other ones a bit better. But this one just, it goes hard all throughout. I mean, it even has a crazy drum intro on number two. Like, and hits into the song, which is just like, my eyeball just exploded. Amazing way to start off a song. And six is just super intense. Very short song, but super intense. So this has so many good songs on. This is your first one. Then you'll know what, exactly what to expect. Love Early Talk. And this is here on this list. Uh-oh. This is controversial. The debut is next. Similar atmosphere, similar sound, similar style to the one I just mentioned. But this is where it all started. This is the debut. And it is... A classic for a reason. It's not my favourite, which is why I got a couple higher. But it, it's undeniable. It's an undeniable Norwegian black metal classic, and I love it to pieces. But I love a couple of others more. But this has so many good songs on. I mean, starting off with one with that doom doom diddle doom 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 doom. Very remarkable melody, and it'll just get stuck in your head for days. And seven. Seven just has this amazing like acoustic part in the middle with the drummings behind it and it just works so well. Ugh, Chef's Kiss, amazing song from amazing album. Love it to pieces. So it is my number two, Norig's Vapen. This is the first album I heard by this band and I instantly fell in love. And it's just the most fun album. It is the most fun album they've done. Um, it's probably the easiest to get into the band. I'd say this is the best for beginners. And it just, come on, I can't, I can't go this far without mentioning the banjo track. Come on, I just have to. Yeah, with, with like a three minute long banjo solo in the black metal, it just works so well. And it's so amazing. But it's not just about that. A lot of people just say, oh, the banjo album. A lot of the songs around that just as equally as good. Like the amazing Nord Bundet, which just has that cool hypnotic melody. It's so good. Um, that is such a hypnotic riff. I adore it. It has such a cool atmosphere around it. So there is so many songs around that song which make the album great. But that song is like the cherry on top of an already amazing black metal album. And they just throw in a banjo solo in one of the songs. It's like, yeah, this album is top tier. Easily could have been my number one if not for an album I heard. Which blew my socks off. That's correct. My number one is another album I can't pronounce. Dodskvad? Yeah, Dodskvad. This album is insane. I love it. Every single song seems to have just catchy moments in it. Every single song has catchy moments in. The riffs, the melodies, the screaming is all on point. This is easily my favourite Tark album. It's not even close. Well, it is kind of close because Norig's Vaping could take it, but this one just, it has more intensity than Norig's. It's just like the most furious black metal, but also mixing in the fun melodies and catchy riffs. It's just, you know, you got to hear it to believe it. Like once you heard the first song on the album, you're going to be hooked, especially when it gets to the middle part where he starts screaming crazily and then it hits you with that, and it hits you with that fun melody. And you just want to be like dancing around a barn with your hat, <laughs> like a lasso or your hat swinging round while you're drinking a chalice of blood. It's a weird mix. But it works. This album's flawless. This album's a 10. I love this album to pieces. And it is my favourite Targ album of all time. So there we go. This was a hard ranking. Very hard. Let me know down below how you'd rank this band. What do you think of it? Let me know. And we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.